All right, let's go ahead and add an existing asset into Artella. So for this example, we're going to go under Characters, make a new character. Primavera is what we'll call this character. I can upload an image from my computer, uh, or I can simply drag and drop one on here like that. So I'll go ahead and create that asset. Once I've done that, I'll double click in, and it'll already set up the files and folders for me for that asset. In this case, I'm going to bring in a model file. So the first thing I'm going to do is sync to the pre-made file that we have for you. There's nothing in it. It's a Mint is a great place to start. You can go ahead and open that file and start working and doing your model and save it to the cloud and it will increment. However, for this video, we're going over how to bring an existing asset into Artella. So what we recommend is to take the file that you have and rename it to the file name that you have now in Artella. It'll just keep everything consistent throughout. And it's just as simple as clicking on that. Here, I'll go ahead and that's Primavera and we'll call that geo. You don't need to put the .ma, you will have already saved it as a .ma file um, from Maya in this case. And now I'll just go ahead and drag and drop that in here. And what that will do is it will increment it into version two. So now I've simply added that model file that was outside of Artella now into Artella. So from here forward, what you can do is just open it up inside of Maya and start working on your file and saving it to the cloud and it will increment from there forward. So this is how you get simple assets into Artella and for other more complex assets that have dependencies like textures and such, we'll do another video on how to bring those assets in correctly.